me Ellie hot mess mom and thank you so much for coming to my channel today we're going to review upsa daisy bath bomb upsa daisy bath bomb is in Lush's Mother's Day line it has two different sides and mine came from the stores in London the price there on their website is three pounds fifty when I ask Siri to convert that to US dollars for me she says it's three dollars and sixty five cents if this bath bomb is only $3.65 in the U.S., I need to get more of them. Um, I have heard that they are less expensive over in London, and I just need to investigate this a little bit more. Maybe put my husband on it and let him figure out if that's right. Because I might just be buying from them from now on. This smells so lovely. It's definitely floral, but it's not like a sharp floral. It's very sweet and light. The website says, have you ever smuggled your dirty laundry basket back into the house on a visit to mom? What? Or not been allowed over the doorstep without first taking off your mud-drenched oops-a-daisy socks? If so, this cheerful grounding bath bomb is designed for you and your mom. It slowly dissipates beautiful essential oils, soothing rosewood, delicate rose, and bright orange oil for a fragrance as gently sunny as a Sunday afternoon. What? That, I'm not a fan of that description. If this is for Mother's Day, it shouldn't be like, hey, go take your laundry to your mother to do. You need to watch the video about tackling Mount, Mount Washmore on one of my other playlists. Like, my, all my children do their own laundry, so that description needs to go on. This is for mama to, like, sit outside and relax on a Sunday afternoon. Not do the kids' laundry unless you're better than that. Or you should hire me. Either way. So we're going to do this bath bomb, and then my intention is to also have us try out the scrubby. It's B with two E's like a bumblebee. This says, meet scrubby, the newest buffer on the block. With all that hydrating honey and cocoa butter, he may seem like a real softy, but don't underestimate his polishing power. He's packed full of ground coconut shells and ground almonds to give you a gentle, effective exfoliation. And so this is marketed as a shower product that you use in the shower and then rinse off. I'll be using it in the tub. But um, it's like 70 degrees here today and it's March. And then it's supposed to snow on Saturday. Today's Thursday. It's supposed to snow on Saturday. So I don't know what to do with myself. So I might be wearing shorts today. So I might need like some exfoliating. But then it might snow in two days. So I might need the extra moisture. I don't know what to do. But anyway, I'm going to try out both of these products in the tub. So, let's go check it out. Here we go. I'm not sure if I said this. I may have said this in the unboxing, but I kind of hope this flips back and forth. And if not, I might just do it myself. Let's see.
did you see that bath bomb? That was gorgeous. Um, let me, I, it's so hard to think about all of the things that happened that I want to talk about. When I first put it into the water and like it whooshed out, it looked like fireworks or something. I don't know. It was so pretty. And then it kept going. I flipped it over a couple times. I flipped it over to the yellow side and thought, okay, well, I think I like the orange better. So I flipped it back over. And just when, um, I don't know if you could hear my kids, I'm planning on hopefully putting some music in to cover up the screaming. Um, everybody's fine. They're just siblings. Um, but I almost walked away from it. Like, if this is all it's going to do and be a flower and da 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 da, then I'm good. I felt like I had enough footage. But then there was like a blue and pink center and it was shooting out and the main bath bomb was spinning in a circle and for a minute it looked like the sun with a rainbow coming out of it. I don't know. It was just so fun to sit and watch and it took a good chunk of time too. I don't know what it'll end, like, end up looking like when it's edited, but it was nearing 10 minutes for me to sit there and film. So that's why mass pandemonium was happening outside of the door. Um, the smell was beautiful. It, a, a lot of times when I put a bath bomb in, like I smell it at first and then it sort of fades away or I get used to it, but I could smell the rose and I really think it's the rose wood that I like. I could smell it for the entire bath and it was absolutely like, even when I was putting my hand in to flip the bath bomb over, like you could feel that it was moisturizing and, and creamy feeling in there. So that bath bomb it's a five out of five for me like I would go buy ten of them right now if they if they cost three dollars and sixty five cents I still can't get past that so I don't know we'll see um, and then I used my little scrubby and look at him now like his little stripes showed up so much better um, I love this I could literally just lick this and eat it um, the the ground up coconut shell and ground up almond it feels to me like um, coffee grounds almost. So I did have to rinse out the tub a little bit, but honestly after the water drained and it dried for a second, I just took a washcloth and wiped it up and it's, it's spick and span right now. Um, because this was the first use with the scrubby, there was sort of an outer coating of that shea butter or whatever, whatever I read as the ingredients earlier. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling like super silky and smooth. In the tub, I rubbed it on my, like I shaved my legs and I rubbed it on my legs and it was like the water was beating up on my legs. So that's sort of the level of, I feel like there's almost a barrier between my leg and the moisture. So it's really nice. I feel like it's going to keep the moisture from the bath in my skin. And then the scrubbies came out a little bit. Um, this is one of those products. I love it, but it's going to be, as, it, as I continue to use it, it's going to be a little bit awkward to maneuver. So... Um, I'm going to find some sort of container to put him in because I feel like it could be in my hand and then just crumble into a thousand pieces and I would be distressed if it fell into the water. So I'm going to be proactive with that and have a cup or something to, to catch his pieces. Um, but for me, the smell and the way it moisturizes and how cute he is, like he, I'm going to give him a four and a half out of five stars because it's just a little awkward to manage. But in my heart, I want to give him a five out of five. So I love these two products in the Mother's Day line for Lush 2017. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Be sure and hit that red button, subscribe, and leave me a comment. What would you like to see next? Bye!